You're with Tabitha from Tabandi Farm. This is part two of our Tabandi country hat. We've laid it out so far and now we're ready to felt. So as we left it last time, we've covered our hat. Now in the same way we have folded our edges, we're going to wet our edges as such. But this time, and I've refreshed the water, and it's quite hot, as you'll see, hot to touch. Now, as we wet our edges, like so, we're going to, as we work around, we're going to roll tightly. And we're going to just roll in, just to there, where we've wet to, and just in a quite a firm way we just roll backwards and forwards just a couple of times this is starting to felt and consolidate our seams yes. so because we want quite a neat seamless edge so as if we it, it never existed and so we turn around Do have soap in our hot water mm. still we can use that soap too we can take it out we can rub it a little bit just to help with that water penetration again and start to make bubbles because that's when we know we're actually doing it correctly because bubbles are being made so it's quite a bit of pressure. So keep it tight. So you don't want to really roll backwards, but you've got to really keep that tight because our fibres aren't interlocked yet. Mm -hmm. So no. with yeah. the felting yeah. process, I've, um, what happens is each one of those fibres has tiny little barbs mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. When we apply hot water, soap and friction, they stick out mm -hmm. and interlock and shrink. So at this stage, we're just starting that process, so we have to keep everything tight so it stays in place while it's doing that. So, and we're taking the air out. So it's just ever so slightly. Now, as you can see, we're getting quite a pie shape here. <laughs> now, so that the fibers don't felt around this edge I like to flip it while I'm doing this process and keep working um, around my edges and it's fine because even though you've only half done your edges you can flip which keeps that pie from getting and felting and I'll just keep working and this don't stay too long on this process with each consolidation of edges you will roll and push the water in you will roll more and more towards the center of your piece so I'm pressing quite firm where grippy mats are great because you can manipulate them so easily you can grab them with your hands they're not slippery like plastic bubble wrap and not as rigid as cane so as you can see and then we can just keep flipping Eventually, that's okay. 
then as we go, we can remove one of our layers mm -hmm. because I have found that it becomes more of a hindrance. Mm -hmm. So in our folding process, because you have two thicker mm -hmm. layers. But see, I can still use the one gripping mat to fold over, to roll my fibers. So see here, here's a good example. Mm. See here how we can double. So we don't want that to happen. Mm. Now, here's a little trick to know. So you might want to flip. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah. Now, here's a little trick to understand mm -hmm. what is felting at the time of rolling. What you'll find is felting. So say if I've got a, a crease or it's not, not felting properly over there. The part, so what I'll do, as you roll, it's actually the underside that is shrinking. Yeah. So it's actually not uh, in the center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, in the direction, but it's actually underneath. Oh, yeah. So if I have... Uh, a part of my work that is not felting properly, then I will flip it to there mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and I will concentrate the pressure on that part that I want to shrink. Right, now I just roll it up. Yes, just little by little. You'll work and then you'll go right across because what you don't want to do is have those fibers move all the way. Mm -hmm. So you're working your fibers and trying to keep them all in position. Mm -hmm. And if you're finding, just add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Because we want to make some bubbles. As I'm rolling, mm -hmm. the moisture is being rejected by the fibers still. So it's it's really interesting how the wool does that. So it's just a matter of applying a little bit more hot water mm -hmm. and getting those fibers. Otherwise, when they dry like that and separate, they're not going to felt. And the other fibers will felt and that part of it won't mm -hmm. when they separate. That's why we keep it tight. Keep it a little bit soapy, hot water, and firm pressure. And you think, oh, nothing's happening. So now you can start to really get in there. Fibers, so you can. So you, if you want to keep those fibers in place, just pop that. Get your soap again. Yeah, pop some soap and water, like so, and voila. And you can really start to be as the fibers are consolidating more. You can start to get a little bit more rough with your piece and a bit more pressure so and really get in there and whack it now from all different angles flip flip from each coming into each angle and an interesting thing is again with pressure for example, here's a, a part of my design which I need to be quite solid in here. Mm -hmm. So if I roll that whole piece here, like so, I can roll it all as one, but if I put more mm -hmm. pressure there, 
less pressure here, yeah. then this is being filtered more than this. Wool is so sculptural. I love it. It reminds me of clay. Yeah. No clay because it's so sculptural oh, yeah. and we can yeah. rub it. Hands. And it's just so beautiful. Now, here's an, a really good point. If you have a sore lower back or you find your wrists mm. are hurting, then do in a horse stance mm. or a seat. Yeah. And roll with this part of the arm yeah. because then you can find that you put a lot more pressure you support your back because mm. you're you know that horse stance mm -hmm. so your thighs are um, taking the load just tuck your bottom under and roll or be seated and use that method because it can get quite tiresome and, and, and um, your tummy muscles, crunch your tummy muscles. <laughs> <laughs> there, you just had a lesson in uh, um, exercise. <laughs> You're making lots of bubbles, that's it. See, I'm getting quite in and into it now. The whole tablecloth is moving. Like so. How are you finding it? Like so. It's beautiful. Great. So see how your fibers are going. I'm really starting to push around now. And it's lovely, isn't it? Here we can pick it up and we go, whoosh. Mm. This is where we can relax a mm. little bit because our fibers are felting. Yeah. So if you want to find, get yourself a little bit. And sometimes if you, if you get too soapy, mm. you can rinse in between because it sometimes um, can inhibit too much soap. So yeah, so see, I can feel my pattern in there. So, and that's what we need is a thick plastic so we can feel mm. and move it around inside. You can see how it's starting to shrink it's now shrinking, because the yeah. pattern is folding over. Yeah. So yeah, so you can just roll and really get really tight like so. Really get in there. <laughs> Push <laughs> Don't worry about that too much. <laughs> so yeah, and then just keep moving it around. Because it's a bit cooler today, you can feel our water is getting cold quite mm. quickly. So adding that bit more hot yeah. water, it helps a lot. See, as you're doing it, see how it shrinks that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it um, is getting shorter yeah. or, or thinner, you know? And then, so the way you 
keep your design in the shape, just keep turning it around. Mm -hmm. And see here how your, so here, mm -hmm. you've got your shape coming. Mm -hmm. Just concentrate and you can roll it around like so. Just, oh, that's beautiful. That's yeah. going so great. Yeah. And then down and then you'll find it will get thinner mm -hmm. this way. <laughs> So now as it's starting to really shrink, yeah. Yeah. you can start to then go, okay, what, is my, what does my design look like? Mm. Let's shrink it in the shape that I want it to be in because it'll make life easier yeah. in the long run. And uh, so yeah, so now we're really starting and we're almost there. Mm. You want to shrink it as much as possible on this way yeah. because in our last video we'll make, is about setting our hat shape and mm. sculpture you wanted to not have as much to shrink yeah. there because it takes a lot longer yeah. to get our shape correct so you want to make it as as to the as, as mostly felted as possible in this form we have more control over this way mm. or, Shrinking quite quickly now. Mm. Nothing so, happens. Yep, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. okay. That's okay. Do you think it's felted, it's thick? Mm -hmm. It's become quite thick. Great. Lovely. I can feel that how much it's rolled. Mm -hmm. We're getting right. Well, let's cut now, shall we? Yeah. Would you like to? Now this is the part where it becomes uh, a three-dimensional object. We're going to remove our two-dimensional pattern. So here we go. You need your scissors. Now, this is our two-dimensional hat shape. You can imagine there's the side, as I stand it, the side of the hat. So the part we're going to cut is along this edge. That's right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so we're going to cut along, yep. not sideways. Okay. Because cutting along with this edge gives us a smooth finish. So I'm going to cut, and as you can see, it's easy to cut into your pattern. So I'm just going to remove. Taking it off. Yes, we're going to remove it. So you can see how it's shrunk because it's folded the pattern up. And this is why we need to have a nice thick plastic there to keep our because that's what it is, it's a resist. Mm. So we have it has to be strong enough to resist buckling up within our wool and rolling. Now, we will cut, now we've taken out, we will cut along our shape. Mm. 
with the eye because we dare say we'll be cutting it again on our finished sculpture. Now the day of reckoning comes. We're going to have a look at our seams. And our evenness of felt as we I've got one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside, and open up your wool and we work around our seam to make it and go. It's a day of reckoning to see how well we've <laughs> how well we've laid our fibers and how even we've laid them. Because then you can feel where it's thinner and thicker. Remember, we've not finished the felting pro process, mm -hmm. so it's great. We can still work on any flaws in our design, mm -hmm. any areas that need more attention. Okay. We can rub around our cut edge. Now, another great thing, now that we've... They're not going to felt together. Our pieces will not felt together. We are going to still use our grippy mat to help us make it a more even shape by laying it now from our two-dimensional into our three-dimensional piece. And we can just roll around and roll in there now just to really work the wool just a little bit more our design and as you can see now just see that little bit there I had a bit more of an yeah. elongated it's pushing it in we can cut but we can do a lot with rolling because we haven't finished fully the felting process and yes it'll scrunch up but that's okay you can see now, another little trick, if you find your fibres aren't, aren't working with you, they're not behaving, we can take it to the sink, we can rinse it completely under warm water, mm -hmm. rinse all the soap out, scrunch it up, then turn the hot tap off and just have cold water. Mm -hmm. Then you'll feel your felt harden. Yeah. And it shocks those fibres. Some people like to throw it, <laughs> do all of that. I don't like to do that because I love to feel my wool. Yeah. I love to, I scrunch it in the water mm -hmm. like so. So I'll run it under warm water, turn the hot tap off, let it run under cold water. Then bring it back to your grippy mat. Okay. You can also rinse the excess water out of your grippy mat. And roll so we can roll it this way we can roll it that way so you can see here you can see that i've done a little bit thicker mm -hmm. but that's okay because we're not finished <coughs> consolidating You're looking fantastic. It's <coughs> great. The beginnings of our hat. So see here, there's a little bit of fluffiness. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We can really put our hand up. Mm -hmm. But as we use our shapes in the last stage of felting, 
that will you'll find will just shrink beautifully into that. Okay, so beautiful, lovely, very, very nice. Now, so that's the next stage. So we're going off to dye our hats now. I will be making another video on dyeing techniques and different ways to dye uh, in a hot method on the stove using different dyes. Uh, we'll be back with the final part, which is setting our hat in its final drying position, ready for wear and use. So now at this stage, go and completely rinse your hat under warm water, squeeze it, uh, get all the soap out, Turn the hot water tap off and just finish squeezing it under cold water. Then come back out for part three and pat your hat, rub your hat. Let the fibres rest for, say, about half an hour. And we'll be back to set the final stage of your hat. Thank you.